Hello and welcome to Lesson 4, Part 8 in the Online Terrestrial Navigation course. Today's lesson is on speed by RPM. Here's our formula for speed by RPM. And in the next four lessons, we'll be using this formula or a variation of it to solve all of our Coast Guard problems. SOA is speed of advance. RPMs is revolutions per minute. P is the pitch, EFF is efficiency, and the two constants in this problem are 60 and 6080. 60 is because there are 60 minutes in an hour, and 6080 is because there are 6,080 feet in one nautical mile. Here's one of our questions. You're turning 88 RPMs with a propeller pitch of 19 feet. A 19-foot propeller pitch means that every time the propeller makes one revolution, it propels the vessel 19 feet forward. And an estimated slip of 0%. What is the speed of advance? So let's take our formula and start pulling numbers from the problem and plugging it in. First, we have 88 RPMs. 60 is constant. The pitch is 19 feet. Efficiency is 100% minus the slip percent. Then you convert that to a decimal by dropping the percent sign and moving the decimal two places to the left. So in this case, we come up with an efficiency of one. These are pretty easy, but we'll have some more efficiency problems later on in the lesson and we'll work through those. In this case, it comes up to an efficiency of one. So let's plug that in. And from here, we just take our calculator. For this course, I've used the Texas Instrument 30XA calculator. And the reason I've done that is it's pretty widely available and pretty inexpensive. You can pick them up at Walmart, Office Depot, Staples, Amazon.com, usually less than $15. If you get one, it'll be pretty easy to follow along with this course because that's the one that I'm using here. So let's turn our calculator on and just key the numbers in. 88 times 60 times 19 times 1 divided by 6080. That gives us 16.5. So our speed of advance is going to be 16.5 knots. <laughs>
Okay, question four gives us an estimated slip of negative 5%. So let's work through this one. Start it out the same way by using our formula and plugging our numbers in. Now the efficiency of negative 5%, remember efficiency is 100% minus the slip percent. And when, when we subtract a negative, we actually add it. So 100% minus a minus 5% equals 105%. 105% converted to a decimal is 1.05. So we'll plug that into our formula. And then from there, we just use our calculator and calculate our answer. Come up with 25.9 knots. So it looks like our answer will be C. Question five gives us a slip percentage of positive six. So let's work through this and see how we do this slip percentage. Start out like every other problem with our formula and start plugging our numbers in. Now the efficiency here, 100% minus the slip percent. So 100% minus 6% gives us 94%. 94% as a decimal is 0.94. So let's plug that in. And from here, we just use our calculator and calculate it out. We come up with 17.49, so 17.5, looks like A will be our answer.